First of all, we should identify the kind of probability problem this is. Here, we are choosing five simultaneously out of the bucket. And we just care about their colors, so we don't really care about in what order to choose them from. And there's no differences between the five balls. So here we know it's combination. In this problem, it involves quite a few different concepts, including the multiple pool and also multiple scenario. I've made references to these in lecture 2.3. So if when I'm going through the problem, you're not, you're not sure what's going on and what, or why I'm doing that, go visit 2.3. So uh, here I'll, I'll be going through this fairly quickly because this is a fairly long problem. Okay, so first of all, this is what I call a multi-scenario problem. Multi-scenario because there are multiple different situations or scenarios where the specification of the problem can be fulfilled. Here the specification is at least one orange and one yellow. So first thing I'm going to do, as I do, as I've explained in 2.3 lecture, that I'm going to list out the entire sample space, all the outcomes that can come out from this choosing five balls. On one extreme, we can choose five orange and zero yellow. And then I'm going to make the entire spectrum. So on this extreme, we choose five yellow and zero orange. And then here are all the situations in between. Let's look at this specification where we have at least one orange and at least one yellow. So here we can see five orange and zero yellow. That's not at least one yellow, so that's out. And here is zero orange and five yellow. That's not at least one orange, so that's out. And everything else is going to work. And for multiple scenarios, we can either add up all the checks, or we can take one, subtract all the crosses. Here, that's going to be obviously easier to take one minus the cross. So here we have one minus, let's say part A, part B. So here part A, we have one minus this situation. So probability of five orange, zero yellow. And then also subtract the probability of zero orange, five yellow. Here you can have a parenthesis and add these. This is going to be the same thing. So, and students usually understand a little better this way. So I'm taking one and then minus the situation that, that doesn't work. The total of the situation doesn't work. So that's going to leave the situation that work as the answer. So here we have one minus. So basics of combination, hopefully you're already familiar. To choose five orange, zero yellow, that's going to be seven yellow to choose from. So seven choose five. Six choose zero, six choose zero is one. So I'm not going to write it out. And the sample space, we have 13 balls and we're choosing five. So 13 choose five. Probably with zero yellow and five, zero orange and five yellow, zero orange, seven choose zero. I'm not going to write that out. You have six choose five for the yellow. Six choose five. And then in the bottom again, the sample space, 13 choose five. Thirteen choose five is twelve eighty seven. And then on the top, let me change the one to twelve eighty seven over twelve eighty seven. And we're gonna subtract these two. 7 choose 5 is going to be uh, 21. 6 choose 5 is going to be 6. This comes to 27. So here's going to be 1250 over 1287. And then for part B, it's going to be the same logic. We look at the sample space, the spectrum of outcomes and we decide which one goes. So here we have at least two orange and at least two yellow, which makes four and one not work because that's not at least two yellow. 
and also one orange and four yellow is not at least two orange so that's not going to work that leave us with these two checked and these four crossed so here this is going to be obvious that it's better to add these two checks instead of taking one subtract four so here we are simply going to add the probability of three orange and two yellow plus the probability of two orange and three yellow three orange and two yellow comes out to seven orange to choose from seven choose three and six choose two over sample space again 13 choose five plus seven choose two six choose three Again, over sample space, 13 choose 5. That's going to come out to bottom again, 1287. 7 choose 3 is 35. 6 choose 2 is 15. 7 choose 2, 7 choose 2 is going to be 21. 6 choose 3 is going to be 20. So 35 times 15 is going to be 525 plus the 21 times 20. That's going to come out to 945. And again, I've done quite a few things quite quickly. So if anything doesn't make sense, just go visit 2.3 and it will make more sense. And if you're wondering how I can do these combinations so quickly, I didn't actually have them all calculated beforehand. I just did them on the spot. And I have a tutorial called Speed Combination in the Quick Tip video section. So if you want to if you want to know how I can do these so quickly, you can go check that out.